generator, and even a helicopter that ran on radio frequencies, a true free energy device that keeps batteries consistently charged. It took me several months to find him, but when I did, it blew my mind. I knew it would be complicated because these things always are. Going to Zimbabwe, the Ethiopian airline that we had tickets with had just had a major crash and a cyclone had just ravaged the area, leaving hundreds dead. Well, we're sitting at a hotel in Harare, Zimbabwe this morning. We're here today to start the vetting process and find out, okay, what, what's real? Over 95% of the time, these things aren't what they claim to be. This time we took engineer Nils Rognerud to assist with the vetting. When Nils and I arrived and met Maxwell, I was very impressed with just what a gentle, true-seeming soul he was. And then the next morning, we went to see the device, and he gave us a full tour. I was practically ecstatic. It was such a beautiful, elegant device. What we're looking at is called the green power of grid machine. It is half a megawatt and we are relying with the radio frequency. We highness a radio frequency converted into pure energy that is useful. It is called a microsonic energy device. A microsonic energy device, it is the generator in this machine. For people who are not familiar with this, half a megawatt, how much will that power in terms of a house or a community or what? We are talking of about 300 uh, standard house homes, yeah. Okay. that you can power with one machine. So there's no oil burning, there's no fires going on or anything, so, wh wh where, so where's the energy coming from? We're harnessing it straight away from the, the, na the natural energy that God has just put in the, in, in, in our, on our earth, yeah, the radio frequency. So nothing unusual, but the main point is that a meter away there's no frequencies being transmitted from a, a microwave tower uh, next to the park we're standing in. It's a poignant day for us here. And amidst the excitement of seeing this for the first time, a couple of strangers showed up on the site where we were being shown these devices. And Maxwell, the inventor, took us aside as soon as he could and said, these guys are from the government, and I didn't know they were coming. Unfortunately, we're, we're truly concerned about this gentleman. And we're just going to take every precaution that we can to keep ourselves safe, to keep him safe, and to keep this knowledge safe. The microphone we had on Maxwell picked up the conversation that he had with one of the officials. So we quickly got the tape translated and found out that the government official was promising Maxwell a power purchase agreement where the government would pay him for generating energy for the country. It was good corroboration that they believed he had what he claimed Although, Maxwell didn't trust him because the government had already put him in prison in an effort to steal his technology.